What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? We got some news to report. We're going to check some things out. Uh, is there a chance that maybe Luna Classic looks different very, very soon? We're going to check that out, too. Uh, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, uh, and hit the bell to be notified of future content. It certainly helps out. But uh, number one, uh, let's... We're going to start with the easiest part right now. Uh, nothing's changed here fundamentally. Uh, Terraform Labs, uh, Duquan is being extradited to the U.S. despite the fact that he's from South Korea. Everything he did happened in South Korea. The United States is buying and paying for and getting special favors to the world so that it can intercede on... I, I really don't know what the U.S. government is doing, but it's the U.S. government. And nobody knows what they're doing. Um, you know, if the Chinese set off a bomb, attack Russia. You know what I mean? So... I have no idea how this plays out, but uh, he probably gets, in fairness, a more favorable trial. Uh, next up, if you have uh, in any way um, thought about, um, uh, by the way, uh, there it looks like there's an, a breakout coming. Uh, we'll look at the charts in just a few minutes, but I just saw an article here that indicates that there probably could be a breakout coming. Now, this is Luna Classic right here. This is what we've seen. This is what it's been since the dawn of the 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 explosion right uh well somebody has challenged that and they are now if you come over to the uh, commonwealth uh there is a terra classic rebranding concept design by challenge studios and what they've done is they've looked at some rebranding efforts um so what they're looking for is something a little along the lines of this right here rebranding to uh, five stars, Lunk. Uh, there's a couple of different concepts and designs, different color schemes, one in gray, black, white, and orange. And, you know, this is the UST redesign uh, with key visuals being here. Um, there, there's a couple of, it's called uh, Cash Green, Black, White, and then OG Orange. Uh, and then these are the typography in Yapari and Sign. Uh, main shapes are going to be stars and blocks. Um, these are some of the illustrations of the blockchain governance voting, just to give you an idea of some of the pieces that they're going through right now, to try to figure out what, um, uh, you know, you know, what to do in the event that there is a rebranding effort. I'm not sure that this is going to get much. I think people are going to like what they see. And this is a really kind of simplistic design, very nice, uh, but also very simplistic sort of design that most probably won't. Uh, get any mass adoption. A nice color scheme, but I, I get the sense and I, I, I would get the feeling that we kind of liked the yellow, blue, and orange. So it, it would make sense to me that most probably this is not going to fly. However, if you would like to, certainly go check out, because it is a fantastic opportunity, uh, go check out the design, if you will, in the Commonwealth. And, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It, it won't take you but a second. I'm sure, I'm, I'm absolutely curious to see what you have to say. But uh, moving on from there, we've got the price action. What's going on, everybody? From now until the 26th, Cryptonomy.Finance is doing a drawing and hosting a giveaway. Make sure that you participate because this could be massive. You can also follow them on Telegram. Links in the description below. And on X, the description is also in the link down below. Also, make sure that you guys understand that I have done a fantastic job so far. You can see what I've done. So th this, by the way, this is not cash out until november 21 but so far my accrued interest is 61,820 and let me point out here what i'm doing here this is the launch pool this is the big uh, launch pool that i keep telling you guys about and here's the thing you see tokens that i talk to you about you see stuff like dev e uh you see stuff like defi you see real tokens ruby protocol that are, are getting vector protocol. These are things that we've discussed on this channel where these things have started to blow up and they've started to have uh, these, these, these big um, uh, moves and take advantage of it while the opportunity presents itself. And remember uh, to get in, you have until February 20th and the price action looks like this uh, with just a lot of ranging to the side. And this is the broader market, by the way, you've seen a lot of, uh, there's some top right there at around uh, 12.5, 3.0 is 12.5. And it just continues to kind of, uh, and just to give you kind of an idea here, uh, this little spot right there represents report, uh, support and resistance through this little range. Now, when I zoom out, uh, this is part of, this is the 786 line at the bottom of the 786 on uh, Fibri tracement <clears throat> for the longer 
term. So uh, that's still playing out, and we're just kind of finding a little support right in this 12.5 area. Uh, for a breakout, well, it feels to me, it feels to me like we're still on our way up. Now, the reason that I left this up, uh, despite what was going on here, was I thought maybe let's kind of look at this and say, well, maybe we didn't get the breakout. If we didn't get the breakout, then what we're really just doing is continuing uh, the channel that we had already created uh, with some subtle little breaks in the performance overall. And if that is the case, and if we're just kind of ranging our way through here, if you will, then uh, stands the reason that we could have a breakout. But when you have this kind of move upwards like this, uh, that tends to lead to a breakdown for some consolidation. Um, I don't see a double top in the shorter time frames, really. I mean, you, you've got a triple right here. You've got another one up here, another one up here. It looks like it just keeps ranging and finding its way upwards. And it'll do that as long as it can do it, of course. But uh, that 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 does tend to lead to kind of a, again, a breakdown. So uh, I'll be looking for a, a reversal in price, maybe back down to 11.7 for a short period of time. But the broader market, there's a lot of shifting changes I'm not an insider. I should I should stress that. Uh, I get information from people, but I'm not an insider. However, from what I do know, there are uh, some really interesting things getting ready to, quote unquote, pop off in the Luna Classic community, starting with uh, an attempt at rebranding. So that seems like a, a, a fantastic concept and idea. And I hope that it plays out to the, the best possible advantage. Uh, but uh, to continue on, there's some more USTC. Uh, I'm just, it's, I'm still... And guys, I I remain very I I remain very nervous about USTC. You know, you 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 look at the patterns uh, that you see when you see a pattern, and and you're kind of getting this sort of breakout. But the breakout is coming off of the end of a sideways move. Um, there's got to be something that happens. I think it's all kind of coalescing here. So the idea here is we're moving to four cents, or we're moving down here to two and a half cents, most probably, and maybe even finding. This is the range of support right here. It's about 2.4. So, uh, and I'll show you that on the screen right here. Uh, that seems to be, um, that's not going to be the, come on, please. I'm uh, going to be kind of around here in this range right there. About 2.4. Uh, so we, we got a choice right here to make 3.8, 2.4. Uh, that seems to be how this is going to kind of align itself. So uh, we'll see what happens as far as uh, governance goes. A few different 800 million through contract migration is in the past threshold. Uh, minimum initial deposit to 1 million uh, is, is also in the past threshold. Everything else is probably not going to make it. Maybe this paper job. Remember, this was approved up until just recently. And now all of a sudden, um, it's it's starting to uh, go negative. So the price action over here, uh, market cap up a little bit, volume way down. Uh, that means sideways trading. It's that's all it means. Vol volume down here, uh, down twenty three percent. Market cap up three percent. So uh, same thing, just sideways trading. And there's nothing really to report on X or Twitter indicating that there's any kind of real news or information that's breaking at this point. So that's what you got. Uh, that's your report for the day. Uh, Luna Classic, uh, Lunatic Fringe, uh, Terra Luna Classic Army, Lunk Army, whatever you call yourself. Uh, remember that. Uh, there is an opportunity here. There's an incredible opportunity here. And there are going to be a lot of things built on this network in the coming future. Tax, by the way, does present itself as a problem. Uh, but it seems like a couple of brave souls, of course, have entered the arena and you know turned it into not a problem. But it still remains a problem. So we're going to have to revisit the tax if we want to really draw people in. Uh, Terra uh, Luna Classic, by the way, is the only top 100 token right now with any kind of tax. So um, that'll that'll have to be addressed at some point. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, and by the way, I know we want to burn tokens, but once we get to the repeg, that's where the token burn is going to happen. And then, or the real token burn, I should say. That's where the real token burn is going to happen. And rumor has it that there might be another exchange that's involved that might be willing to do some burning as well. But we don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Remember, this is not financial advice, and I'm always right. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.